Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over setting up firewall rules in Unify with a full Unify stack. Um, today I've set up a, a new network. We've set up a IoT network. I usually use this network for thermostats or Amazon Alexa devices or Google Home devices, Apple TVs, Google Chromecasts. Um, Philips Hue, light bulbs, things like that that may not be patched and updated consistently and you don't want talking to devices on your main networks, whether that be you know your switches um, or servers or anything like that. So um, what I've also done is created an IoT wireless network and uh, Put a test device on that network. That's a, a MacBook. We can go ahead and see that that client is at 192.168.69.7 and it's a VLAN 69. What we're going to go ahead and do is go into our routing and firewall and first we'll go over to firewall and we're going to go to groups and I've set up two groups. The first group being IoT, and I've put the IoT address in and saved that out. And then the second is private, and I've put in our management VLAN, our office VLAN, and our voice VLAN, or the voice, all those networks. And this way, we don't have to make multiple rules to stop IoT from talking to each network. We can we only have to make one rule, and it'll stop it from talking to all of those networks. So now what we can do is we can go over and we're going to go over to rules IPv4 and LAN in and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new rule and then we are going to first we're going to set it up so that it will drop all IoT traffic drop IoT to private traffic and then we're going to leave it as before drop and all and we want that to be we can leave the states we'll leave that alone and we're going to do the source of iot and the destination of private so we'll save that and now that's the first rule but that's not the first rule we want rule we want to have because what we want to do is also allow our private to talk to devices on the iot network I have at my house, I have Apple TVs put on the IoT network, but I still want to control those Apple TVs with my phone. So, and my phone's on the main network. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll create and we're going to allow established and related traffic first. And then we're going to go accept all and still bef before. And we're going to choose established and related and then we want from private to IoT. We'll go ahead and save that. And we want that before the dropping. And then we need to add another one of allow new connections from private to IoT. So we'll accept all, do new, and then again, private IOT, we're gonna save that. And now we wanna make sure that that's the second option in there, which sets us up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for about, you wanna wait 30 seconds or so for the USG to let go of its state tables um, before we start testing anything out. But I'll catch you up after that's done and we'll go ahead and we'll try and ping from our private network, which is, well, I'll show you here right now. I will connect via ethernet and you can see I am on the office network here. And if I were to ping that MacBook that's on 69.7, I can get to it just fine. And we will turn even turn off Wi-Fi to verify it's working from Ethernet. Which, again, the state tables may not be up. So I will wait till those state tables get back up and then show you what's going on.
so I did have to tweak the allow establish and related traffic. Um, what we want to do is we want to set our source to any and destination to any. Um, that, if we go out and we save that out. Now, if I go ahead and I try and ping, we're only on Ethernet, the IoT network. You can see I can get out to that network. So we'll quit that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn Wi-Fi back on. And let it figure out how to get connected. We want it on IoT junk. And then I'm going to go ahead and disconnect Ethernet. And we want to ping our cloud key on 192.168.1.2. And we expect this to actually not work. So now this is the expected piece that we can't talk to any devices on private. But if we were to ping, well, dot seven, we don't have a problem because we're on the exact same network. So this would be the way to set things up if you needed your phone to talk to an Apple TV or your phone to manage a, say, a, uh, like a Google Home device, something like that. Um, you could also set it up that, you know, you had printers on a separate VLAN and then allowed your computers to talk to the printers or you had a kid's VLAN and a, you know, and a printer's VLAN. You wanted to make sure your kid's network could talk to the printer's VLAN, but the printers say couldn't get out to the internet, um, all of those things are possible with the firewall rules in Unify. You just have to play around with them. And I hope that this tutorial has got you set up to, you know, start making some firewall rules for yourself. Continue to make groups. Um, if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. And if you've liked this video, please remember to uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell uh, icon for notifications when I post another video. I'm working on getting a new video out every day during the month of May, so you don't want to miss it. We're going to keep going on Unify, and I plan on talking about how PFSense and Unify can work together um, here in the near future. So uh, if you've enjoyed the content, I, I appreciate it. Uh, keep watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.